You are now listening to the Curtis King Podcast. Music producers, I can do nothing but shake my head at the last (laughs) 48 hours of my life. Welcome to the Curtis King Podcast. Before we get into my issues and my problems, um, let me first welcome you to this podcast specifically for music producers centered around the mental health of not just music producers, but for those of you that are creatives, thinkers alike, think that you'll enjoy it if this is your first time listening. Whether you're listening here on the traditional platforms that you find podcasts or whether you're watching it here on Curtis King TV on my YouTube channel, I just want to say thank you for being here from whatever platform you're listening or watching this to. I ask that you please leave us a like, leave us some commentary, some ratings, do all that good stuff that, you know, we're supposed to do on the Internet when we enjoy some content. That being said, (laughs) As I said earlier, the last 48 hours in this particular room have been very irritable. I can't even say the word irritable. They have been painstakingly. I don't even know a word to go after that. It's been it's been painful. How about that? Like insert emoji with uh, not even emojis. Insert the meme with Will Smith that says pain. Uh, that's me that I'm, I'm, I'm that, that that's me, that head ass. Uh, it has been wild and mind you at the recording of this, it is, uh, a day before my birthday. And I mean, last year around this time, I think there was a good chance that I myself and my wife may have, uh, actually contracted, uh, the, the, the Corona, the COVID, excuse me, the COVID-19. And uh, we were sick around this time last year. How do I know? Because we were on my birthday. And in this year, I'm not so much sick. I feel feel pretty good, right? I got some aches around my body from overworking myself the last 48 hours. But (laughs) other than that, I'm in good good health. I'm in better spirits now than I was, say, the first night. And let me stop alluding to it and just get straight to it. My computer. computer crash my computer crashed it is it it is done for and before you before you computer experts start popping up and saying you didn't have a backup the backup was corrupted before you say well you're sure you don't tell me what i should have did i know what i should have did but i i i don't know if i had the patience for it i think i was so angry At this new ass computer, not acting new (laughs) as I thought it should be, uh, malfunctioning the way that it did, that I was like, "Eh, F it. F it. Whatever happens, happens. I think there's always, you know, because it's not the first computer, you know, I've I've had desktop before. It's like the first computer that crashed on me, right? I've had tons of PCs over the years that have crashed on me. Still ain't leaving for my, I ain't leaving no PC. I'll tell you that right now. I've had laptops that crash. Even recently, I've had laptops that crash. Maybe it's just you. Maybe it is just me. I don't know. But I've been here before. And no heartbreak will ever compare to the first time that it happened. Uh, I, I, that's when I found out there's a such thing as hard drive forensics. That's a term I didn't even know went together at the time <laughs> until somebody told me it's mighty expensive. And at that time I wasn't making any money. So I was like, I guess I lose everything. Yeah, I'm going to lose everything. But after a few times, after that first initial sock to the gut, you learn from it, you make the proper changes, which I have over the years. I mean, I've obviously can always do more. Even right now, I got this thing called back burner. I think it's called and, um, you know, shout out to the homie, oh gosh, who told me about that. But I have it backing up my computer as we speak. Too too little, too late. What they say? C- closing the barn door when all the horses leave. Whatever that saying is, I, that's exactly what happened. So let me rewind back to this because I think it's important to a bigger picture and a bigger philosophy because we've all lost something. Whether you're a producer who has lost your projects, your sessions, your beats on some defunct 
external hard drive, whether somehow, some way your cloud service didn't work out, something happened with the payment and they deleted your shit. You've been there, whether you've had repossessions. <laughs> Hello, I've had that before. <laughs> whether you've dealt with evictions, whether you have dealt with uh, you as a writer, having your notebook, your most personal thoughts, your incomplete thoughts, the ones that you don't want to share with anybody else. So you share them with a piece of paper. You know, those thoughts, the ones you think nobody else is going to read except for you. For those of you that have been through that, I have too. Um, I think it teaches you a lesson about loss that we're going to talk about. But let me rewind, rewind, let me rewind. So I'm sitting here uh, on my day off, right? I had been with my son the whole day. I ain't even touched my computer. Last time I was on my computer, it was working fine, right? Matter of fact, I even watched some videos of how to like increase my RAM speed, which I think might have been part of the issue. I don't know. I don't know. It's gone now. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Um, and so I just randomly said, you know what? Let me go do my melodics practice on the piano. Let me go run through some scales, which, you know, that's what I was looking to do that night. I was 11 PM. Open up my computer, turn it on. I opened up, but I turned my computer on and mind you, I had just got new Ram, all kind of upgrades in this room, new, new monitor, all that. And, uh, I turn it on. And it went to the window screen, but the window just kept going and it kept going and then it kept going. And then I was like, huh, let me just wait. And so I waited probably about 35 minutes. <laughs> very, very weird when that happens. And it finally went to Windows. Kind of. It looked like. It looked like I got a Blair Witch Project uh, virus and everything was glitching out. I couldn't access anything. Anytime I tried to click on any part of the Windows. Right. There was like one error message. I try to click around it. It just blacked out the screen. And uh, I waited. And I just reset. So maybe it's just, you know, a little, little bug or whatever. I'll just do the restore point. Did the restore point. Restored it to the day before the last time that I had a restore point. That didn't do nothing. Matter of fact, it didn't even go to Windows at that point. So I'm like, OK. So maybe I should reset the computer, reset the PC. And once I reset the PC, mind you, this is after 11. It's already getting like 12, 1 p, 1 a.m. at this point. So I'm already a little bit tired as is, a little bit frustrated that this is happening to begin with. But I was like, you know, let me reset the computer. I can keep the files. It attempted it and it said, nope, something's preventing us from doing that within Windows. All righty then. Let's dig into the BIOS. Let's see if there's something going on with the RAM. Let's see if there's something going on with the hard drives in general. Can't find anything. And so uh, I go to my laptop, my backup laptop. I go get Windows, right? I download Windows, um, legit Windows, put it on my, my, my flash drive, and I try to reboot it through my computer. My, maybe it's a Windows issue, right? Maybe like when I change the size of RAMs, maybe I'll not change something to try to make it faster. Maybe it's my fault. It's got to be my fault, right? Try to reset it with Windows. Uh, Windows was like, nah, dude. <laughs> nah. What I, nah. Every time I try to install it, it just spit it back out. <laughs> nah, nah, we don't want that. We don't need that. Now it's about 3 a.m. And I have work that I must do the next day, including my weekly live stream. And so I'm starting to get really, really antsy because I'm starting to make momentum. Here we are a few weeks into uh, the new year. I, I, I let my mind get caught up in that. Right. I'm like, we're making great momentum. I don't want to miss a day. We're doing really, really well. And I want to keep that going. And uh, that impatience ultimately led me to doing more troubleshooting all the way up. I did not sleep all the way up until about 7 a.m. that same morning night. And uh, basically through all of the, the threads that I read, through all of the people who had the same error message that I had, they all concluded that wiping the hard drive <laughs> was the solution. Mind you, when I put windows in here and I tried to like, like move files over, cause there's an option in there whenever you're resetting it and you're, you're, you're putting another, or you're reinstalling windows. It tries to repair. It can't repair. It tries to repair the, the, the startup can't repair the startup. And, um, 
Then it tries to repair it using 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 the flash drive as sort of the 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 first in in uh, in order to 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 boot. And so at that point, I was like, do I really want to reset this whole thing? I tried to change, I tried to take my files over and, and drag them to any external hard drive that I had. Wasn't budging, would not even let me get into there. Um, so I'll never know what exactly it was, but I conclude that it was some kind of system registry issue, some kind of maybe a virus. Maybe there's something that I tweaked a little bit too much listening to damn YouTube. Maybe there's something that I tweet. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Literally every Chopaganda episode where I sampled stuff, that's gone. That's gone. Enjoy it in the live stream replays because that's the last time you'll ever hear those beats. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone, gone. Matter of fact, let me tell you how gone it is. So I finally, right, I, I, it's my work day. So I take like an hour, two hour nap. But mind you, when I have issues with technology, I get very obsessive. I get a bit loony. I get a little bit crazy. I get a little bit crazy. I get a little crazy when it comes to technology. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to figure this out. Like uh, uh, my homie THX used to say, no computer will ever defeat me. And I had that same mentality as I sat down there and I was like, you're not going to defeat me. That's what you're not shoes. You can't defeat me. You feel me? Bars. You're not going to defeat me. That's it. That's it. I'm going to conquer you. Computer one. And it won so bad that it had me doing some really. <sighs> crazy things that are usually like rookie mistakes. For instance, I. Finally got Windows to erase both drives, format the drives. And, um, you know, as, as, as difficult as that was, because I had all that music on there, I didn't really it didn't really hurt me as much. It was like a punch to the gut where I'm like, shit, that's everything. Project files. But I was like, I'm not working with artists. And on top of that, I'm not going to revisit these beats for anything. Right? I'm not looking to get placements. I'm not looking. And this kind of like puts my back against the wall to that very thing that I say I committed myself to. You say you're not going to work with artists. Well, damn it, you can't now. Well, in the capacity that you might, if you want to use some of your older work. Uh, no more sync place. Uh, no more sync licensing. You sure about that? Well, now you got no choice because you got no project files to pull up them stems when they start asking you to make edits. Bet. Now I have to live by that. Isn't it funny? Me and Ogosh was talking about this. Isn't it funny how when you say something, when you declare it out loud, life is like, bet. God is like, for sure. Well, the only way that you're going to learn this is to learn it for real. And here's some real life circumstances for you to deal with and learn and grow from. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. Finally formatted the hard drive, installed Windows again. And um, through pure sleepiness, I installed Windows on my hard drive and not my solid state drive. I usually put all of like my contact and all my heavy files on the hard hard drive, right? Because it's larger and obviously it's it's um it's able to take on more tasks for a longer period of time. And then usually on my Solid state, I put Windows and I put, you know, all of uh, my 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 apps and things like that. Things that don't really require too heavy of a load. I did the opposite of that. I don't know where my brain was at. It was it was sleep deprived. I don't know where my brain was at. But. I <laughs> I install Windows on that one. And I didn't realize it until I opened up Windows. It is the most nerdiest podcast ever that I've ever had. I don't care. I didn't realize it until Windows opened back up and I was like, yo, why is F. Eliana working? So why is she? She's tweaking. Why is she going so slow? I, I, I click on the search bar. It was like dot, 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 progressing dot, dot. What is going on? What happened? What did I? I started double checking the RAM. I put them in different slots, making sure I did that the right way. And uh. It didn't dawn on me until like a few hours later after 
after and I was like, maybe it's just, you know, maybe it's just the, the first boot issues. I don't know. Who, who the hell knows? At this point, I'm tired. And I kept installing my dumb ass installed for the next 14 hours on the wrong drive. And then something told me. Are you sure you installed all this on the right drive? I don't know why it came to me, but it did. And after the 14th hour, I said, no shit. I installed this to the wrong side. I installed the wrong stuff to the wrong side. So I had to wipe the whole hard drive again. (laughs) I'm laughing because that's all you can do at that point. It's not funny. It's funny now. It's not funny. It's never funny. It's funny. Uh, I had to wipe the whole hard drive again. Again. Like what the telly used to say, again, again, again. Done for. Did it the right way. And um, <laughs> my body, I'm telling you, uh, 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 hello, 36 years old. My body was kicking my ass and I was ignoring it all the way along. Because I was so determined to get this computer back up and running. I literally wanted to do today how I'm doing a podcast. I wanted to do a flocation episode and make up for it. That's now that I'm thinking about it in a retrospect, that sounds completely nuts. There's no way in hell that I could get all the presets, all the. um, Oh my God, all the VSTs, all the plugins, all, I mean, the, all the contact libraries. There's no way I was going to get all of that in one day. Matter of fact, I left Nate, I left native access and I got some fast internet, but I left native access open for the entire night. And that still, (laughs) it ain't mean nothing. It like barely, well, it put a dent in it, but I woke up the next morning and still had like 80, 88 more gigs to go. Shit. But I got it. I got it taken care of. And um, but the problem was I kept staying up because I said I'm going to get this done. Maybe maybe I won't be able to go live by Friday, but I'm like, damn it. I, I, I just got to get this done. And so after only two hours of sleep and going on a marathon of my just letting my body just literally just sit on this sit on this this chair i had wayne's brothers which you can get on hbo max shout out to them i had wayne's brothers in the background i was reminiscing it was putting me in a better mood because the, the second time around i was like for some reason this whole thing was so ridiculous i was like this is supposed to happen i don't know why this is supposed to happen so i just kind of like concluded that it was supposed to happen that way and so i'm watching wayne's brothers or whatever Mind you, the entire next day after that, I had been up with only two hours of sleep. A whole day. I had a liquor game that came on that night and all of that stuff. And somewhere around 3 a.m. the next day, right? 3 a.m. the next day, I had still been up because I'm a nut. Um, I'm sitting at the computer and I'm just installing stuff, installing, 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 like, like I've been doing the whole day. And my body, It's actually a reminder for me to go to sleep very soon, which I will. It's like, I got to edit this. Um, My body was like, uh, bro, what are we doing here? And why can't this wait for another day? I ignored it. And when you ignore your body after it gives you warning signs, eye twitches, like you're probably seeing already because I need some more sleep. Um, Dehydration because the room in here gets pretty warm. I arms start feeling a little bit numb. <laughs> Just weird stuff start happening, right? When your body has not had the sleep that it needs. I the weirdest thing happened. I'm sitting here looking at the at the computer screen, and I'm just I'm, I'm a zombie at this point. I'm not even like knowing like how many hours I've been up. And I like you know I fix my jaw for whatever reason. Like I think maybe like fix my beard or whatever. I fix my jaw. And that joint felt like it's about to fall off. It just goes numb. And I'm like, yo, yo, what the, what was that? What was that? Now, it may very well have been nothing. But when you sleep deprived, anybody who's worked graveyard or anything like that, when you're sleep deprived, your body has a way of hyper focusing on everything. Right. After not caring for so long, you, you hyper focus on everything. And so I got to a place where I was just like, OK. I'm now going to have an anxiety attack. Because my jaw is 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 going crazy. 
I could not like it felt like it was like loose on my it was loose on my face. <laughs> I'm running around here. I'm like not running, but I'm walking around here like, bro, what's going on? Like I, I talk to myself whenever I get into them anxiety attacks. I talk to myself. Yo, what's going on, bro? What's what's up? What's really going on? Not what you think this could be. What's going on? Touch something. Touch the wall. Touch something that's real. Pinch yourself. All right, cool. Come back to the present. What do you smell? What do you see? Things you do during an anxiety attack. If, you, if you've never gone through that, you should probably uh, exercise that next time you go through, an, through a, uh, an anxiety attack. Look around the room and uh, without thinking too much about what it's doing, just look around the room. And uh, I remember, I remember uh, this lady told me one time, she said, look at something like a piece of paper and then ask yourself how it was made and start thinking back to the steps that it took for that piece of paper to be made all the way up until when it was just a tree, right? <laughs> uh, something about trying to imagine that, it takes you away from the chaotic nature of that type of being in the now. And then it takes your mind to another place for a second, just so you can let your heartbeat come down to a, a manageable level and your breathing can be, can be a lot less shallow and uh, return back to normal. And so with me, I was like, you know, what do I smell? I was like, let me drink some water. Um, cold water really helped for some reason. Like it really brought me into the now. And then I finally said, you know what? This is enough chaos. You need to take your ass to sleep. Go slow to go fast. Right, Curtis? Let's do that now. And so as I'm laying in bed and my computer, I had to just leave it on. Like I turned the screen on, left the computer on, let it just, you know, load up. I lay in bed and I started thinking, I was like, you're nut, first of all, but why are you obsessing so much over this? Right? Like it's done. It's gone. What are you going to do? It's, it's done. It's done. And then, you know, when you're already sleep deprived, your mind sort of catches a high and you enter this other place where there's a dialogue that you're having with someone that feels familiar, but not someone you talk to often. Do I sound crazy right now when I say that? It's yourself. It's you. But you have a dialogue with the part of you that can't be bullshitted. It's the part of you that is not amused by the circus of life. It's the part of you that is not so easily distracted. It's the part of you that's looking at you like that meme, like, really, nigga? Really? <laughs> That what you're going to do today. It's not negative. It's not positive. It just is. It's it's just the truth. It's just pureness. It's just your S. It's just who you are, right? Who you truly are. And as I laid in bed, that voice was talking to me. And it said, you like this, don't you? I said, what you mean I like this? I'm, I'm having anxiety. You know what I'm saying? My computer broke. I said, no, 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 no. You like the challenge, don't you? You're nut. You like this, don't you? And the other part of me that was denying it started getting quiet and thinking about it. And I was like, I think I do. <laughs> Is that crazy? Is that weird? I think a part of me does not like the destruction. I don't like the chaotic nature of everything. But I love starting from scratch. I love starting from scratch. I love being able to have the opportunity to clean the slate and start from scratch. I have, everybody has their own weird spending habits. I have a weird thing with me in that I have to have a conversation with myself. I'm telling you about everything by myself. I got to have a conversation with myself when I go down the aisles of the supermarket where there's notebooks. It's something that developed when I became a rapper, right? When, we, when I started writing poetry, I love blank notebooks. I just love blank notebooks. They represent potential. They represent uh, uh, ideas that can be turned into golden, you know, uh, opportunities. It just represents a new beginning. And for someone that, like I expressed earlier, that has gone through his own share of losses. Who has it? But my own share of losses, you kind of have to become comfortable with 
starting over. You kind of have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's not easy to start all over. But something happens in the in my mind, and I know it happens for a lot of you too. Not everybody though. Something happens in your mind that says, now that we have the beginning again, we're going to do it right. And not even not only are we going to do it right, we're going to do it better than we've ever done it before. Ladies and gentlemen, I look at this situation now from a different lens after getting some sleep finally after my whole episode with the lens that says this is the best thing that could have happened to me because now I can no longer hold on to the past of my music creation. Now I get an opportunity. I still twitching from lack of sleep. I got better sleep than than last night, but I have a golden opportunity in 2021 to do what I have not been able to do in quite some time. I get to redefine myself. I don't have project files to go back to and and check the numbers and and check where was my 808 parameters at or check what EQ I was doing. I get to do whatever I want. I deleted, not even deleted. I didn't have a choice. It deleted. My computer deleted. I tried my best to get back the majority of my drums because I've purchased. That's one great thing about purchasing your plugins and VSTs is that it's really easy to get those back. I'm not tripping on that, right? The presets, ah, that sucks, but we'll just go back to some history in my my YouTube videos that I got some of the presets from, or I'll just, you know, kind of, I should be knowing what I'm doing. If I'm going to use presets, you should at least know what the damn thing is doing uh, within the plugin. That's how I feel, right? So that's easy. Drum sounds, I bought all of my drum sounds, but then there's some free downloads that I just cannot access. I can't find. And I and there's one in particular by a producer named Vibe Beats. Um, he had a pack called Vibe, Vibe Got Em, V-Y-B-E, Vibe Got Em Volume 3. I think I originally downloaded it from Producer Grind. It has been up there since 2014. Sheesh, I didn't even know Producer Grind was around that long. Shout out to them. Um, and I tried to download it and the link was broken. Vibe follows me. We haven't had much dialogue, but I was like, let me DM him and see what's up. He hasn't got back to me at the recording of this, but I'm hoping that maybe, you know, he got his own stash. Um, yeah. So don't have access to that. That has one that has my my favorite kick of all kicks is in there called No Jumper is in there. So if you got that pack, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm waiting on him to give me. Uh, purchase link, but if I, I think it was for free, it had to be for free. It was free. If you got a free link or something else, let your man's know. I need that kickback. I'm itching over here, like a crackhead. I I need that no jumper kick, baby. I, I'm I'm <laughs> I need it. I need it. But there's so many things I didn't need. Do I need a whole kick for? Do I need a whole sound pack for one kick? No, I don't. Do I need an entire VST? For one pad? No, I don't. (laughs) What drums do I actually use? Am I a collector of drum packs? Or am I a producer that is using sounds to express myself? Hmm. Interesting conversation. Interesting, interesting questions there, Curtis. These are the things that you ask when you got to start from the beginning again. Now, I'm not encouraging to go set nothing on fire. I have been called an earth scorcher before, not proudly, but I've been called an earth scorcher. I've had that in my my personality, but I think this is a lot different. I think this is making peace with my current limitations, the current limitations of my computer, the current limitations of the circumstances. It's making peace with it. And as I make peace with it, what it makes me say is that sucks. If I'm being real about it, It's a hell of a punch to the gut. It hurts to lose that. But did I need everything that I had? Right? Was I just collecting stuff because I had the money to pay for it? For a lot of that stuff, it was the case. So I went through it and I was like, what stuff do I really need? For damn sure, non-negotiable is my contact, right? My contact libraries, um, that's non-negotiable. I need all of that. Right. 
my Dada Life plugins, Endless Smile Sausage Fattener, Pause. <laughs> um, I uh, what else? Like all of my Waves plugins. That's non-negotiable. I need that. Then I started thinking about okay, what about drums? Well, obviously the Slap Experts. Thank God that's my company. Me and oh God, thank God it's our company, right? Uh, I already got that, so I'm good on there. And then I think I was like, drums, decap. Now, decap is a good friend of mine. And I know very well I can shoot him a text and say, hey, bro, man, um, thank you for sending these drums to me throughout the years and allow- allowing me to kind of preview them and take them for a test drive. Uh, would you mind sending every single one of them, one through nine, to me again? But then I started thinking to myself, if Decap's drums are so valuable, and I told him this via text, if his drums are so valuable that it's one of the first packs that I want to have in my collection, because I downloaded Splice again, but it's so, it's so, that's a whole other story because it's so all over the place. Um, if you're not using the actual plugin itself, the folders are all over the place. I'm like, yeah, uh, baby, gosh, don't even get me started on that. Plus, they don't have all Decap's uh, sound packs. If it's one of the first ones I think about, That means it's probably one of the most valuable within my collection. So if it's the most valuable, what makes his drum packs and and, and what makes me being friends with him any different than these plugins that I'm willing to pay for? Not willing, that I'm I'm going to pay for, that I need to pay for, that I have paid for. Um, And then I saw on his website, he had, uh, you know, all of his drum packs. They're like averaging about 40 to 45 bucks. And then he had a, 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 a all inclusive pack for like two ninety nine, and I'm like, Yeesh. I, you know, not that I can't afford it, but I've never paid that much for drums, drum sounds, really. But I did it because it wasn't, and, and, and it wasn't even a matter of if it was worth it. It was like, are you going to use all of these? Was the question. And when my brain started pointing to very specific sounds that are that exist within each pack because I've used it for so long. I was like, that to me sounds like a hell of an investment for something that means a, a whole lot of value to you, a whole lot of value to your um, to your music creation. And so here's what I've concluded from this whole ordeal. Um, and I, I appreciate you being an ear to this because now I can look at this and laugh and see the ridiculousness of it. Um, this was a massive a massive addition to my creative process, to my creativity in general. It was a massive addition to my creativity to have my computer crash. No longer did I have my security blanket. No longer did I have my references. Now I have to actually go back again and do it slow so that I can eventually do it fast. This was massive addition by massive subtraction. And I can tell you here, looking straight into this very lens, talking straight directly into your ears if you're wearing headphones or in your car system if you're listening inside of your car. I am glad that it happened. That needed to happen. That was the the sock to the gut. That was the punch to the gut that I needed. When I tell you, I do not know when it's going to kick in, but it is all, it's all foot on gas. It was already foot on gas, but it is all, I'm, I, I am gassed up. I'm ready. I am going to destroy everything in my Everything, any obstacle that comes into me and F. Eliana's uh, path, I'm giving it hell. You don't give me opportunities to come back because you will. And I'm talking very, very like I'm talking, talking real greasy, like my computer ain't sitting right here. Like, oh, yeah, it shut down again. But so be it. That happens. It happens. I don't care, man. I don't care. I don't care. I cared. I don't care now because I know that as a creative creature, I am put here to create. As a producer, I am put here to produce. 
I'm not here to collect. I'm I'm not here. Hold on. Let me turn this music off. Had the background music going, trying to cut me off. I'm not here. I, I am here to produce. I'm not here to, to reminisce. I'm not retired. I'm not here to reminisce on the, on the good old days. I'm here to produce. I'm thankful that we have a live stream that has allowed me to really work my way through my own doubts, the obstacles of my prefrontal cortex, but not just work on it through music production, but to have done it and documented it. Oh, man. Yeah, we don't have those beats for uh, for Chopaganda. But I was dragging my feet on actually getting that beat tape done because I just knew like just some of the behind the scenes work on it would, would have to, you know, it would be a long process. And a part of my brain was just like, yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I wasn't going to get to it. Not anytime soon. And so. Life took it away. Now, what you going to do? I've made the necessary changes for the computer so that if something like this happens again, I'll be better prepared. But anything can happen with that. I'm not in control of that. Only thing I'm in control of is how I react to these situations. What do they say? Life is 10 percent what happens to you and 90 percent how you react to it. I don't know if those are exact stats. I think they might have said 80, 20. Who knows? Either way, you get the idea. What is the majority of life? It's how you react to it. And so at this place, this crash feels different. It steals that initial sock to the gut like for real. You finna do this? Then I just started thinking about it. I was like, last time something even remotely close like this happened was when I went on my go legit campaign and I decided to never look back, never touch another pirated version of anything. And uh, I got rid of pretty much the majority of the stuff that was on my computer. And when I did that, all I had was splice. I think it might have been like, um, was it tone Two? was it what program was that? I forgot. Um, but I had like only a few few VSTs that some companies gave me NFRs for. And uh, I made Lemonhead at that time. It's one of the one of my biggest streaming beats to this day. I made uh, Skyrockets during that time. There's so many like beats that I made that were like, okay, we have a new beginning. We have a new notebook. What are you going to sketch today? That's the question. So as we cook up, as we move forward, um, I just want to make sure that you know why some things may be all over the place or why they may not look exactly how they looked before. It's because we're trying to do better than we've ever done before. And I mean that sincerely. This has been another episode of the Curtis King podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Whether you've been tuning in from the traditional podcast platforms i just want to say thank you and if you enjoyed today's podcast today's uh, technological rant make sure you leave us a five-star rating leave a comment we really really would appreciate it helps us move up the charts when it comes to music podcasts uh we would love to be top 10 in the charts that's something that i definitely want to make happen this year for us to be a top 10 music podcast that'll be crazy we're going to make that happen though um, uh, I don't know if it's this year, but we're going to make it happen. Uh, so as we do that, your help on that will be very much appreciated. If you're here on the YouTube, which a lot of folks do love to come watch my facial reactions and see all, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe they, uh, maybe I got some charisma or something. I don't know. Um, they do enjoy coming over here. And plus we have a very tight knit community, really dope community that sh if you want to come be a part of, all you got to do is just subscribe to the YouTube channel at Curtis King TV. Come check us out on this side, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, and yeah, I I'm, I'm about to end this podcast off. I'm going to enjoy my weekend Saturday that tomorrow. Well, the, well I, I shouldn't say that. I hate putting dates and recordings, but, uh, tomorrow is my birthday and I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, so by the time this video is out, it, my birthday's already passed. So if you go sitting saying happy birthday, you you are late. You are late. You late. You late. Why you late? Why you late? You, you know what I'm saying? Why you late? I'm just playing. But yeah, everything's gonna be good. 
Everything's going to be good. It's already good. It's going to be better than it's ever been. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. With that being said, like I always say, in this life, you will not be full of life until you decide that the light to its fullest. Once again, this is Curtis King of the Curtis King Podcast. Indestructible, undeniable, undisputable. Have a good one. <laughs>